How the world works is at it again. Originally, my second video on the climate change series was going to be about CO2, solar irradiance, and cloud coverage, but Lee came out with a couple videos in the beginning of December, which I hadn't seen until now, with a retorts to Green Man 3610. This video is responding to his content, his so-called content, if there is any. If you zoom in, you can see that from 1987 to 2008, there was no statistically significant difference in the temperature readings. Now let me stop you right there because you seem to think that judging overall temperature trends based on 10 to 15 year trends is suitable. If you start from 1840 you can see that there are many periods of global cooling throughout lasting much longer than what we have. But if you start about 1950 we see temperature really pick up. Let me just make sure you understand this. 10 to 15 years is not a large enough span of time to get a real idea of what the temperature average is actually doing. Many different things can happen between periods of 10 to 15 years that will cause temperature to cool regardless of the total atmospheric warming. Global warming is not reliant only on CO2, it's reliant on plenty of different mechanisms. CO2 is just one that we are in control of and are currently increasing. But why let a fact get in the way of a good talking point? I couldn't agree more. But what's worse is that some global warming alarmists are even coming out and defending the scientists for quote-unquote hiding the decline which would have showed the world that their proxy data simply wasn't reliable. Because it is reliable. Because it aligns with the data we had previous to 1950. 1950 it diverges, but there is a reason for that. Tree ring growth is dependent on more than just temperature. When you see carbon dioxide cr increase exponentially in 1950, you see tree ring growth differ from what its previous alignment was saying. Understand that this does question whether tree ring growth can be used as a good proxy, but it does nothing to actually discredit other proxies out there like ice core data from various different sources that still do align with each other and with tree ring data before 1850. However, newer data has come out in 2005 from the Moberg study, which suggests that there's actually still a medieval warm period, and it looks at a longer period of time for 2,000 years into history. And guess what, Lee? There's even newer data by Anders Moberg himself, critiquing his study from 2005, published in 2008. I've cited the sample images in the background here. There's three of them. None of them show the medieval warm period anymore that you're so gallantly parading. The study essentially went over, since updating their proxy data, the most recent available, their supposed medieval warm period no longer existed. What I'm saying is, we should not revamp our entire economy until we have proxy data or other data that is a reliable source. Because you're the only one that's saying we don't have reliable proxy data. Tree ring data is not the only proxy we use. There are plenty of other proxy data and they all line up. Thanks to this, we can make reconstructions of temperature data. All the other different proxy data sets that we have still line up with the instrumental record and the tree ring data still lines up with their proxy data which suggests that tree ring data is a reliable source up to a point. However, that's not to say that careful examination of previous tree ring data isn't required to ensure that it's a good proxy. That the researchers were funded by the American Petroleum Institute and Exxon or whatever corporations he claims that were funding it. What matters is whether or not the study was true. And it turns out that it aligns perfectly with the 2005 Moberg study and other studies. Ever heard of double-blind studies? Until they're produced, the premise is about as strong as yours on Moberg 2005. And speaking of that, Moberg doesn't even agree with you, so unless you can name any of the other papers, then you're just talking out your ear. Oh, look at this. It's Dana Milbank, left-wing columnist. Oh, it's in the American Prospect, a leftist paper. From the leftist... Oh, look, it's quoted by the Scientists for Global Responsibility. It's very clear that it's entirely a leftist organization. What matters is whether or not the study was true. This is such a bait-and-switch argument. What's important is what happened before 1850 with the proxy data. From this chart, I've already argued what took place after 1850. What matters is whether or not the study was true. Lee, I know you don't get this, but you can't dismiss an opinion simply because of political views. You have to actually address the information. And so far, from the hundreds and hundreds of studies in recent years, the overall consensus, overwhelming overall consensus, is that anthropogenic climate change is reality. I've posted my links in the sidebar, and hopefully I can get my actual second video on climate change out soon. Cheers! Think about it.